movie star in Vancouver that has created an unexpected mix of Chinese and Italian cuisines. M8's chef and owner Shin Mao joins us this morning to share one of his recipes. First of all, good morning. Welcome to CTV Morning Live. I am so curious to know about the mixture of the two worlds of Italian food and Chinese cuisine. What inspired this? Oh, that's basically my, my life. Really? Yeah, I spent 17 years here, uh, 17 years in China. Wow. And, yeah, and then I learned Chinese uh, Italian cuisine for about 12 years and doing it. And that's that's why where the cuisine come from. So I basically combined two uh, cuisine with you know, which is from my experience. So yeah. instead of going, oh, should I do Italian restaurant? Should I do, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to do them both. Exactly. That's <laughs> I, love true. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm really interested to know how you're going to combine this. So what exactly are we making today? So we're going to make a ricotta mousse uh, with the uh, organic beef salad with okay. the Alsamathus vinaigrette. A what vinaigrette? Alsamathus. What is that? It's so the it's, stuff right here. Yeah, exactly. That's the dry flour. Yeah. And what it, it's just flat it's a flower it's a flower oh. it's a little bit of uh, flower in the girl the girl in china especially, especially oh. region yeah so this is what's going to give it that chinese flavor yeah okay. yeah chinese kick uh, that, that chinese kick yes. okay so let's let's get started so we've got beets of course what's the key to making beets um i would say you can either bake it or mm -hmm. roast it or boil it okay but when you boil the beets you don't want to cook this red beets with any other beets right. because it's going to dye the color. You want to separate this one, yeah, but exactly. you can cook these two together. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so exactly. what's the first step here? So, so we, we, we do, you you wanted me to put something in here as well, right? Yeah, I have some simple syrup there. So okay. I just ask you to put that flour in there. Okay. So we give like 20 minutes to simmer and okay. then we'll let it sit. Okay. So the flour, the flavor will come out. All right, let's combine all the other okay. ingredients so together. So now we have this. So this is what comes the in the end after 20 minutes of that cooking. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So we have some more rice vinegar. All right. So we're not really measuring here, folks. We're just going to dive in and just. <laughs> I'm measuring. <laughs> what is this that you're just putting Just a in? really good uh, uh, extra vinegar olive oil. Okay. Yeah. So your basic vinaigrette. Yep. Olive oil. Yeah. A little salt. A little pepper. Yeah. So I'm going to have you to uh, give a little whisk. No problem. So this is like the base of our flavors right yes, here. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to make the ricotta mousse here. Can you roast beets as well? Do you prefer that or does that kind of... I prefer roast. You do? Okay. Yes, I do. So you could roast them for the salad as yes, well. Yes, yes, of course. Beautiful. So I have the ricotta cheese here, lemon juice, and I have some lemon zest. What else is on your menu that you would say has a little bit of a surprise factor to it? Everything on the menu. Really? <laughs> Did you keep anything that was classic? Is there such thing as just like pasta and then like a Chinese dish? But is it just all combined together? It's all combined. It's all really? Combined. Yeah, I have a pasta. We have a beef, fish. But everything, every single dish in my men on my menu have a little kick. Okay. Like Chinese kick. All right, so we've yeah. got about a minute left here. Yeah. Um, while you're making that too, as you're mixing all the ingredients, I also want to talk about the restaurant in itself, the the vibe of it. Yeah. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful, and um, and I think we have some beautiful photos of it as well. Look at that view there. So Thank do you. you actually have a view of that? Like, what was inspired behind the decor in there? Uh, just keep it rustic, uh, elegant, and uh, yeah, and um, very rustic. Very rustic. So have ricotta cheese with some beets. Okay. We've got about 30 seconds left here. Because, you know, I, I only say that. I only give the chefs that time frame because I just want to dive into it. All right. So, okay. Let's get that in. So we have some vinaigrette. Just throw so around. Beautiful. Oh, I have to try the ricotta cheese. I'm going to dive in while you're still making Okay. And mm. some herbs. Oh, my goodness. That's it. Chef, congratulations on the restaurant. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you very much. We'll definitely be checking it out.